Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss order of precedence of logical operators in the evaluation of logical expressions. If we are dealing with some complex logical expressions, they will have more than one logical operators or logical connectives. In such cases, we must know the order of the precedence of the logical operators. Okay. The order of precedence from the highest to lowest is negation, conjunction, disjunction, implication, and if and only if. So, this is the order of precedence of the logical operators. We will do these operators. We will do negation. Then conjunction, then disjunction, then implication, then uh, if and only if. For example, if we have an expression like this, uh, negation P conjunction Q or negation P and Q, that is uh, the conjunction of negation P and Q, then the order of precedence will be here we have two uh, operators, for first one is negation and the second one is uh, conjunction. So, if we have order of precedence is for first for uh, negation and then for conjunction. So, we have to perform this negation P first and uh, then we have to perform this uh, conjunction. Okay. So, this will be the order of precedence. Okay. Clear. That means, uh, it, it is not the, the order of precedence is not like this. So, the order of precedence is first we have to find the negation and then uh, we have Uh, uh, with the conjunction and right so this is the operation also for another example p or q and uh, some r okay that is p uh, disjunction q uh, conjunction r so here we have two operations uh, first one is disjunction and the second one is conjunction so the order of pre uh, precedence here is uh, first we have to perform the and or conjunction so first we have to this do this q uh, and r okay then we have to perform p uh, or q uh, p or q and r right okay next uh, the parenthesis the sub, sub expressions are always evaluated first that means suppose we have uh, brackets in our expression parenthesis means brackets suppose we have brackets in our expression uh, we have to perform uh, the uh, brackets first. Okay. So, we have to evaluate the brackets first. Then, we have to do the brackets first. Okay. That is the parent. Parenthesis the expressions are always evaluated first. Okay. Uh, next, uh, next is if two operators have equal precedence. And the operators have equal precedence. The corresponding expression is evaluated from left to right. Left till and the right leg, I can evaluate the end. Clear. Now, as an example, uh, take these two examples. First one is uh, P implies Q and negation Q implies negation Q. Now, we have the order of precedence. We have to evaluate the Okay. Now, we have three operators. Uh, one is implication, and then conjunction, and negation, and then we have to implication. And then uh, negation and okay. so we have three operations also we have uh, bracket is here also here so namale engenaana idine order kodukkanda so order of precedence will be uh, uh, first first preference for this bracket and second for this third for this and fourth for this is our order of precedence here so here we have to perform uh, uh, the operators or operations in the uh, brackets first. So, first we have to do this P implies Q. Okay. Then we have to perform the uh, negations. So, we have to uh, uh, perform this negation Q and negation P. Okay. We are uh, doing from first uh, left to right because uh, these two have same precedence. Okay. So, we are uh, uh, doing uh, from first left to right. Next, we have the uh, precedence for the conjunction. So, we have to uh, perform this here. Then, we have to perform this implication. 
So generally we have negation, uh, the implication that is P implies Q uh, and uh, negation Q implies negation Q. Okay, so this is the order of uh, precedence here. Okay. Next example is uh, P implies Q if and only if negation Q implies negation Q. So here we have the uh, implication, the uh, operators are uh, implication if and only if uh, negation. Okay, and we have two implications here and two uh, negations here. So the order of precedence will be first for this negation, uh, second for this implication, and third for this if and only. Okay, so how can we uh, conclude this or evaluate this? with this order of precedence so here we have first we have to uh, uh, operate this uh, negation so we have here negation q and negation p okay then we have to perform this implication so here we have implication here so here we have p and q no need to uh, do here uh, anything so uh, then we have to perform this implication so here this p implies q and here also Q implies P. So here we will have this P implies Q, then uh, negation Q implies negation P. Then we have to perform this uh, if and only. Okay, so this will be the order of precedence. Next, we have uh, three problems. Indicate the order in which each logical expression is evaluated by properly grouping the operands using parentheses. Okay. So here uh, the third problem is actually P uh, conjunction Q implies negation P disjunction negation Q. So here we have the operators uh, conjunction, uh, implication, uh, negation and disjunction. So we have the uh, order will be is for 1 for this, 2 for this, 3 for this and 4 for the implication. Okay. So uh, first we have to find the negation P. Then negation Q, then we have to operate this uh, conjunction. So we have to perform this P uh, conjunction Q. Okay, then we have to perform this disjunction operation. So we have to perform this negative disjunction, then the implication. So this will be the uh, order of precedence for this case. Okay, now question 4 and 5 you can do yourself. Okay, I am leaving this for you. Thank you.